Hi, I'm Robin from Palmer and welcome to another short Tech Talk video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Palmer PDI-09. You may have heard of this little box. Actually, it's just a DI box with a speaker simulation circuit inside. This will allow you to take the sound of your amp and go directly to your front of house mixer uh, without having to mic up the cabinet. Miking up a cabinet is a good thing if you have the time or the patience. Um, but it can become difficult, especially in live events um, where the situations are always changing. You may have a different stage, a different room, and it's difficult to find the right sound with miking up a cabinet. Then you also have feedback problems, uh, especially in the bottom end. It can start to rumble pretty quickly. And of course, somebody can also kick your mic over in the middle of the event, and then you don't have any guitar sound on your front of house mixer. This unit gets rid of all those points or all those problems uh, associated with, with miking up a cabinet. So let me show you now how to hook this thing up. First thing you want to do is you want to take the speaker out of your amplifier and take it to the input of the PDI-09. Then take the through out of the 09 and plug it to the cabinet or to a suitable load box. This connection is important because the tube amp needs a load connected. So in this case, we're going out of the 8 ohms output of the amp into here, straight back out to the 8 ohms cabinet. On the other end, we're going to take an XLR cable, and this goes straight to your front of house. And that's it, that's the whole setup. Um, we also have this uh, nice little mounting plate. We can mount it to the back of the unit, just take out two screws and screw them back on with a plate, and then you can screw the whole thing down to the inside of your cabinet or amp. Before you mount it or before you secure it, make sure to check the position because if you get too close to the power transformer or the output transformer, it's going to induce a hum in this box here. Now let's have a look at the functions of the unit. Down at the bottom here we have two switches. One switch is bright, normal and mellow. That's for changing the sound. You can switch between mellow, which is more your American type of sound all the way up to bright which is more like the British sound. Then you have an input attenuator. Um, if you're using a small amp you probably want to keep that at 0 dB and the higher the wattage of your amp gets um, the more you're going to have to use this attenuation. The attenuator prevents the circuit inside the unit from distorting if the level gets too high. Then you have a ground lift, sw lift switch here. This is to eliminate ground loop humming. Because in this constellation, you are connecting two mains powered devices. You're connecting the amplifier to the front of house mixer. And you can get a ground loop hum there. And in that case, lift the ground and it should be gone. You may also have heard of the Palmer PDI-03, which is a larger 19-inch model. Uh, this unit uses exactly the same filter technology as the PDI-03. It's just missing one function, which is a deep flat switch. I guess the most important question is, why buy a Palmer speaker simulator? For one, Palmer is best known for its speaker simulators. We've been around since the 80s building speaker simulators. A lot of famous artists use our gear. If you're interested, um, check out our website, www.palmer-germany.com. There's a list of all our artists online. And um, another very important feature of this unit is that it is completely passive. It does not require any power supply of any sort. That is very practical, especially in live applications. You don't need to change batteries and you don't need to have an external power supply. Some other units use an active filter circuit, um, which needs a power supply. This unit uses a passive filter circuit, which is a bit more expensive and a bit more tricky to do, but it's a really nice, warm, smooth and natural filter. It's absolutely affordable and it makes life on stage so much easier especially if you've screwed it inside your cabinet. All you have to do is put the amp on stage, get an XLR cable from front of house, plug it in, and you're ready to go. No miking up, nothing, just this one plug, and you've got a straightforward, reliable sound. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any more questions, send us an email, uh, and we'll be sure to answer. Take care, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.